A former presidential candidate at Damugaba says the zoning of political offices does not give Nigerian leadership value. Gaba, who has also declared his intention to run, to run for the presidency in 2023, said this when he featured on Plus Politics earlier this evening. He pointed out that disunity was a cause of the agitations in the country. I believe that zoning was created by our fathers, the founding fathers, I can say, of this modern democracy as a way to ensure every other member of the country or every other um, group from north to south is able to participate in leading the nation. Uh, however just and fair it may look, it does not really translate into the value for ordinary Nigeria. If you notice in this country from 1999 to date, you have two presidents come from the north and two presidents come from south. When the first president comes from the south, you have OPC and major Delta militancy that brought about killing of so many people in the South. And so many problems, again, comes to happen from the South. As a, even though we have the president coming from the South, having non-competent structure uh, around entitlement is what breaks, not makes the country. Majority of the agitations we are seeing today in Nigeria is because our man and their man my people and their people, us versus them. And what amplifies this us versus them scenario is actually the school money. I'm not saying that they are not competent people from the South, but somebody cannot come and be contesting from the South on the basis that he is coming from the South. Somebody should not be contesting for Nigerian president from the North on the basis that he is coming from the North. Nigerian president should be somebody that is giving a proposition that is agreeable, acceptable, and that will add value to each and every Nigerian. That is the only way we can move forward as a country. We can't be a single country along different lines of division that was done by colonial masters for a divide and rule to keep thriving. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.